eh, whatever. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I'm just, I'm super white, and the light's gonna reflect off my gargantuan fucking forehead. I, I don't even care. I, I don't even care. My fucking voice cracked there. I, I don't even care. So, um, hey, uh, we we got a we got a new lavalier mic. So apologies if the audio is kind of weird. To, it keeps fucking, it keeps doing this shit because of the way that my hoodie is. And like, I might just, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it like that. Honestly, that fuck, that works. I'm looking at my like little camera thing off in the corner and my bright ass forehead is just completely overblowing this goddamn, my light is on like 20%, by the way, I'm going to turn it down to like 10%. Okay. Lights on like 10% and I'm still, wow. Okay. I need to go get some sun or something. So yeah, this video is kind of super weird and I'm just kind of experimenting with a whole lot of other like filming techniques and stuff like that. Uh, and I think the main thing I want to talk about is sort of like, uh, kind of like uh, what my mental state is and also talking about like uh, certain aspects of creativity that I've been like racking in my brain for a little bit and I just kind of want to get it out somehow, somewhere, you know? I've already tried filming this video once. Uh, I tried to film it in front of my fire pit in my backyard. Uh, however, the audio ended up not recording properly and it sounded like ass. So I just kind of deleted it. <laughs> um, the footage is still uh, there. So I'll just like throw it up on screen somewhere. But I figure it would be better to just do it kind of this kind of like in a controlled-ish environment rather than just outside in the dead of night only being illuminated by like a fire and a light that I had kind of off in the corner. So we're gonna try to do this and we're gonna see like what happens. So I don't think it's a huge secret that I've been trying to work on my mental health for the past, uh, you know, few months, couple, couple months-ish. And one of the things that I've been sort of like reflecting on is this concept of like what creativity actually is and like how that applies to my channel and how my videos are. Cause like, I, I, I really care about this channel and I care about my uh, side channel too. And I want to make something good, right? But the problem is my concept of good is so fucking high above. Like my standard is really, really high. And I've been like really struggling to try to like tone that standard down. Now, some of you who don't do YouTube for, you know, however long I've been doing this might be thinking to yourself like, oh, lowering your standards, isn't that kind of like a bad thing? Wouldn't it be better to, you know, have a high standard for your videos to make sure that you're always putting out something good? And yeah, you're correct. But at the same time, if your standard gets too high, then you just end up being unsatisfied with everything that you've created and uh, just feeling hollow and empty and not really being fulfilled at all. And I think that this mentality kind of leads into the revelation I had pretty recently, where uh, a lot of people in creative industries like games and movies and music and here on YouTube especially, they tend to focus on this like end product that you make. You know what I mean? Like there's always gotta be this like end product, this big grand project you're working on. There's always gotta be like the next thing, like your next video or your next game or your next whatever. And that is, you know, what people interact with. And that's really all that people see. And like that whole logic makes sense on why people focus on the end product so much. But what I've been learning and trying to like teach myself more over the past couple of weeks is that creativity is not your end product. Creativity is your process and the things you learn while making things. Yeah, Gizmo's deciding to be kind of a little bitch again. Just kind of hang, here, come here, Gizmo. No, 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 no. Okay, you're making an appearance. Everybody likes to see Gizmo. Say hi, Gizmo. He doesn't want to say hi, okay. <laughs> what are we talking about again? Uh, yeah, processes, right. So uh, I think creativity is more of the process of how that thing is made rather than the end product itself. And that's kind of why I've been like really happy with how the latest video turned out where I was just kind of talking about like the computer problems I've been having over the past, I don't know, couple weeks, couple months, whatever. Cause while it doesn't really get into the nitty gritty of uh, my video making process, it still like paints a picture and tells a story of like this problem that I had and it led me down into the spiraling rabbit hole of technical problems. And like, it's like, oh, I should probably do this and then this and then you build things in certain ways and hallelujah, that's where I'm at right now. While I was making that video, I was honestly kind of nervous of how that video would turn out because there really isn't a point to it, you know? Like there's no big grand like revelation at the end and I'm not working toward a goal that I established in the beginning of the video and I'm not like doing this big thing and having this big message and everything like that. And I'm, honestly, I don't think it needed that. 
because the process in and of itself and me talking about that helps me share what I've experienced to hopefully let other people learn from my mistakes and my choices. And I think that makes people sort of see what I'm doing here and think, oh, well, maybe this isn't the most difficult thing in the world. Maybe I can use Linux or maybe I can use DaVinci Resolve or any of this other stuff that I'm doing on my channel. And that's like, honestly, what I want to do with this channel is I want this channel to be sort of like both a, a platform for me to express my viewpoints on creativity and technologies and the things that I enjoy, but also sort of like to be an example, I guess. Like the whole reason I started making Linux videos in the first place was because A, I was tired of Microsoft Windows and B, I wanted to show that, yeah, it, it may take some time and you're definitely going to run into some struggles, but you can definitely use Linux or DaVinci Resolve or GIMP or whatever other piece of software I use to make videos like these. And even though I complain endlessly about the struggles I have with Linux, it's why I haven't switched off of it yet. I feel like the time that I've put into this channel and these projects that I've been working on in general is just worth it because of the fact that I'm learning so much. And being able to finally escape uh, Windows and Adobe and kind of just make my own path is the icing on the cake for sure. So yeah, I don't think this video has any point to it, but honestly, does it really need to have a point? I think if anything, me just sitting here and talking about like the revelations I've had while working on my mental health is kind of the point in and of itself, you know? And hopefully by working on these projects, I can at least inspire a couple of you to maybe try this for yourself. I don't know if it'll work for you. I don't know what your life is. I don't know what your technical skill is. But if I can at least let you like see what I'm doing here and think, hmm, maybe I could do that. I think that's good enough because that's what I want to promote. I want to promote this, this like creativity. I want to promote people to try new things. I want to promote people to like do the things they've always wanted to do, but feel like they can't. Cause that's kind of how things are right now. You know, it really feels like you just can't do what you want to do for X, Y, or Z reason. And I think that that sucks. You know, I, I want to allow people to play the games they want to play the way they want to play them. That's why I talk about emulation. I want to make sure that these games stay alive for as long as they can and not be discarded like some piece of trash. Again, why I talk about emulation so much. I want people to be able to enjoy using their computers and learn something new and sort of gain this independence from mega corporations that only want to steal money from you. That's why I talk about Linux so much. And I just want to talk about games that I enjoy, you know? I know that not all of you are going to follow in my footsteps. I don't think even a single one of you watching this video will do the, any of the things that I'm talking about. And honestly, that's okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep doing stuff on this channel because uh, I, I enjoy making videos. I saw Gizmo in the corner over there. And that's why I'm experimenting so much with different filming styles and different equipment and different things here and there because I'm just trying to find a style that fits for me. Honestly, I kind of like standing up and like walking around and having this lavalier mic on my on my like hoodie here. Like, I didn't think I would enjoy doing videos like this as much as I am, but uh, here you go, you know? It definitely feels more like, I don't know, uh, interactive, I guess. Like, I feel like I'm more doing things in a video and I can point to stuff and I can do all this stuff. I have a background here that kind of fits with everything I'm doing on this channel. I just, just I'm just seeing what works, man. <laughs> and honestly, speaking of my creative journey, I do want to talk about a little bit of that in, uh, if you're still watching this far, then you might be a fan of this channel. Just saying you might. Uh, so you might be concerned about how poor my video output has been over the past few months. And uh, yeah, it has. I haven't really uploaded a whole lot. Uh, and that's just because of all this mental gymnastics I'm doing to try to fix my brain. But uh, I think things are gonna be turning around pretty soon. I do have a plan. I've written down a plan and I'm gonna focus on this plan. I'll just give you like the first step of this plan. I, I'm, I'm planning for like years in the future. I used to think that planning that far ahead was kind of a fool's errand considering that like life is it, it, super chaotic and you're never gonna know what happens. But at least having a plan can keep you on like a path that you think might lead you somewhere. I don't know. Again, I'm not gonna go over the whole plan here, but I'm just gonna give you like the first step. And that would be my upload schedule, like a new upload schedule. I know, crazy, right? I don't know how well I'm gonna do this uh, upload schedule and no idea or plan is perfect and immaculate the first time around. So things are probably gonna change, but I mean, I, I, I really wanna set this schedule in concrete and I really wanna like 
hold myself accountable to this. So here we go. On this channel, I'm going to uh, focus on putting out a video every two weeks. And it really won't matter what the content of the video is, what the uh, complexity of the video is, the length, anything. I just wanna get a video out every two weeks. And if I am suddenly inspired to make a shorter video, then that is gonna go out on the side channel, the garbage pile. The garbage pile is going to be a place for me where I'm gonna offload all of my smaller ideas, ideas that I think wouldn't exactly work on this channel. Cause think about it, right? If I'm uploading a video that's like 13 minutes and it has a script and it's got all this stuff and I'm standing here talking and there's like editing and all this fun stuff, it really wouldn't feel right to me if the next video two weeks from now was a two minute long short, you know what I'm saying? So those kinds of videos are gonna go up on the garbage pile. But what's also gonna be on the garbage pile are just plain old let's plays. I had to open my window because Gizmo was being kind of a little tool about it. He, he likes to sit on the windowsill, so the lighting's probably gonna be different from here on out. So I've been on YouTube for a long time. I have seen every content creator under the sun go through their rise and fall arc. I've seen uh, every adpocalypse. I've seen uh, the addition of the Google Plus accounts and the whole backlash involving that. Um, I saw the PewDiePie versus T-Series arc. Uh, I, I, I've been here for as long as this site has existed. And one of the main types of content that I've always watched from 2006 to today are Let's Plays. Cause while I do enjoy like video essays and now archeology span videos and cooking videos and breakdowns of tech in gaming and FGC history and all kinds of garbage, I still always find myself returning to just the simple Let's Play. So uh, that's what I want to do, is I want to make the things that I enjoy watching, you know? I feel like that makes sense. So all of those Let's Plays are also going to be on the garbage pile, and I do have a schedule for those too. I've actually started the schedule now with a Monster Hunter Try Let's Play. A video in the Monster Hunter Try series is going to come out every three days. So it'll be a video, two day gap, and then another video. This uh, time schedule here uh, will hopefully give me enough time to work on videos for this channel, as well as uh, up uploading content to the second channel and remaining consistent. Because that's kind of the thing, right? I want to be a consistent uploader. Not just for my own sake, for my own creative vision and my own creative journey, but also for you guys. Because I understand that like subscribing to a channel and then waiting like six months to a year for every individual upload is annoying to some people. I personally don't mind it because like I'm on this side of the camera so I understand that everyone's creative processes are different. But from a consumer standpoint, I can honestly understand why that would be annoying. So yeah, we're gonna try to be a little bit more consistent with uh, uploads here uh, and also on the uh, Garbage Pile channel. As for things like the Patreon, um, I'm going to kind of step away from it for a little bit. Uh, I'm tempted to just sort of cancel it altogether because I want to establish like a good foundation for not only this channel, but my own like creative output and my own work ethic and everything else that goes into these channels. And because I'm going to be focusing so hard on getting this consistency down, I'm not really going to be focusing on the Patreon. And I feel bad for taking money from people, especially for the past, I don't know, six months without really doing anything on it. It feels like genuinely wrong to me to take any money from people without giving them something in return. So uh, I'll make a post on the Patreon. I'll talk with the people who do donate to me. And I'll see what they think. Um, may, I might shut it down. I might not. I, I honestly don't know yet. But that would just be a short term thing. Once I get this consistency thing down and I get this foundation set up for myself and this channel, I would then relaunch the Patreon with new tiers and new rewards and all this other stuff. I just don't think it's right for me to take money while I'm trying to focus on this without putting effort into the Patreon. You know, you know what I mean? Like, I think that makes sense. So we'll see what happens with that. And Patreon onward, uh, I have a complete other plan for the future beyond that, but I'm not really gonna go into it because it's not exactly set in stone. None of this is set in stone, really, but um, that is like way more subject to change than the right now and the immediate future. So that's kind of the plan going forward. I'm gonna see how it shakes up. I'm gonna see how everything turns out and hopefully I can make something good with what I have here. And I hope that for the nearly 5,000 of y'all who are subscribed now, which is honestly kind of crazy, I hope that you guys enjoy 
this weird and wacky and depressive creative journey that I've been going down for however long I've been on YouTube. So for the time being, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here and thank the patrons for uh, donating anything to me at all, because uh, sometimes it feels like I really don't deserve it. But um, I'm, I'm grateful either way. You know, part of my, you know, forging of my mental health is being able to accept compliments, and it's still really difficult for me. So, you know, we're kind of working on it, I guess. So uh, I guess thanks to the patrons again. Thank you for watching this far into the video. And uh, I hope you look forward to the next video, which is coming out in two weeks. So uh, keep mark your calendars. It's uh, not next Friday, but the Friday afterwards. That's going to be the, the day that the next video is coming out. I'm, I'm holding myself to this shit. So I hope everything works out. I hope nothing fucked up happens in my immediate future. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Have a good day, everybody.